Good morning, warriors. It's Wednesday. Internet's back up. Yeehaw. We're going to get into this workout. Ooh, I got some crazy hair going on today. Did not even comb it. <laughs> Although I don't comb my hair. It just turns into a bush. Um, so we are going to get started on this today. This is a full body workout, but it's focusing on your core and your glutes. I'm going to give you a little bonus exercise at the end, okay? So let's get right into it and start our warm-up. I'm going to take my last sip of coffee. And here we go. Let's get right into this warm-up, okay? So we're doing a little bit different warm-up these days. Kind of changing things up. Got getting bored with our warm-up. So arms are out to the side. Hey, hey, Jennifer. What's going on, baby? Great to see you here. And we're going to touch our toes. We're going to diagonal reach to the side, press the butt back and come back up. And reach and press the butt back and come back up. So reach, squeeze the glutes. Let's start getting those glutes firing because we're going to be using them today. Pull that core in. Let's see. And seven. Squeeze. Nine. Squeeze, 10, two more, squeeze, last one, and squeeze. Okay, we're going to be doing some of those good mornings. Spread those feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, pull that core in, tuck down underneath, look behind you, and open everything up. Press down and open up. That's it, keep going. When you come up, I want you to squeeze those glutes, okay? Press to the back and squeeze the glutes. Open up. It is the only time I'll tell you to open up that rib cage. Squeeze, press back. Last two, one, last one. And two. Okay, let's do some squats to warm up that body. Hey, hey! See you guys all coming in here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Here we go. We're going to do some squat pulses. So sumo squat. Feet are at a 45 degree angle. Legs are way wider than your shoulders. You're going to press down two times and up and squeeze. Two. Press. Three, sit into it, keep that body upright. Don't bend your body over. And chew. Glutes are tired. Nine, 10, two more. One. And last one, squeeze those glutes. Okay, let's bring that heart rate up. We're gonna do some step jacks or jumping jacks. So step jacks are step, step jacks, right? Or a jumping jack. Two, three, pull the core in. Five, six, seven, get that core tight. Lock that rib cage up. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake that out. Let's warm up those arms. We're gonna start in front. We're gonna do T to I. T to I. Soft knees, core is engaged, glutes are engaged. Core is zipped. Up we go, press in, press up, and in, up, and in. Three more, pull that tummy in, arms are up at shoulder, last one, shake it out. Okay, our first exercise, we're down on the ground. These are a hip bridge with four marches and then back down. So here 
We go, go down on your mat. Do not throw yourself on the mat or on the floor. And get yourself in that hip bridge position. Heels are about hand width away from your glutes. Pull that pelvic floor under. Get into that hip bridge. And you're going to march. Two, three, four. Back down. Make sure you turn that pelvic bone under when you're coming back down. So up, march, two, three, four. Back down. Pelvic bones back under. Up, march, two, three, four. And down. Up, two, three, four. And down. And up. Two, three, four, and down. Up. Keep going, guys. Three, four. I think I lost count, which is okay. We're going to do four more. Two, three, four, and down. Up. Two, three, four, and down. And up. Two. Three, four, down, last one, up, two, four, and down. Okay, we're going to roll over into tabletop, and we're going to do some back kicks with a pulse. So foot is flexed, you're pressing up through your shoulders and chest, if you have a problem with your wrists. You can put your fists down on the ground like this to help with those wrists. Um, same with if you have finger issues, anything like that. This is really going to make a difference when you're doing a plank or anything that's down on your hands and knees. Okay, so we're going to do pulsing back kicks. Feet are flexed, tummy is pulled up. One, two, and down. Switch legs. One, two, and down. Two pulses. Keep that chin up. Don't look down at the ground. And that's it. Five. Nice flat back. That second pulse is up higher. Okay? Make sure you're thrusting that heel. Core is locked up. And keep going. Eight. Nine, ten, keep going guys, two more. Pull that core in. Last one. Nice. Okay, next exercise. Oblique turns. We're going to use a weight for this. You do not have to use a weight. So if you're not using a weight, your arms are going to be bent at this angle. Everything's pulled in and tight. Feet and are hip width apart. Knees are soft and you're turning from side to side. Pulling that core in side to side. If you have a weight, I'm going to use a ball. Here we go, an eight pound weighted ball. You do not have to have a ball. You can put two small bottles of water in your hand. So here we go. Stop back at the top or the front. Your hips are moving on this one. Pull that oblique in. Pull in from the belly button. These are deep oblique moves. Nice. Seven. Follow with your head. Ten. Two more. Pull it in. One. And last one. Done. Okay. The next thing we're doing is a close squat. So, off the mat, close squat pulse. So, feet are 
inside shoulder width, okay? Everything's pulled up and in, hands are in prayer position, elbows are locked up to the sides, off to your sides, pinned to your obliques. Chin is up, chest is up, shoulders back and relaxed. Here we go, guys. Press down and back up. Pulse for two and squeeze those glutes. That doesn't mean your knees lock up. You're just squeezing the glutes. Look how bent my knees are while I'm doing this. <sighs> Never lock up those joints. Squeeze that butt. When you squeeze your glutes, you're working on this outside piece that tends to bow out on all of our legs as females. Men don't get that issue, we do. We get that little pooch there. Squeeze. You can just sit in a chair and squeeze those muscles and that will help too. Nine, weights in the heels, 10. You should not be feeling this in your quads. This is all glutes and hamstrings. If you're feeling it in your quads, you are not sitting back into your heels. Last one, press. Okay, deadlifts. You can either do this with weight or without weight. I'm gonna use my kettlebell. Um, and you do not have to do this with weight, okay? This is something that can be done with a mini band, without weights, with a water bottle, whatever you choose. So feet are shoulder width apart. You're tracing your legs, pushing your booty back. Chin is up, chest is up, and squeeze. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see the body position. Here we go. Press back and squeeze. Keep that chin up. Three. Make sure you're squeezing the glutes at the end too. Soft knees always. Do not lift the weight with your hands. This is all being done by the glutes and hammies. Six. Seven, squeeze. Eight, squeeze those glutes. Chin up, nine, pull the core in. 10, two more, press back, squeeze, press back, ah, squeeze, hold that squeeze on that glute, three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna put that weight down, and I'm gonna give you a bonus exercise. So we're gonna do some hover to uh, press, okay? So these are hovers. This is something that can be done on the wall too. If you can't get down on the ground, you can do this on the wall, same position. So on the wall, you're gonna squat, okay? And you're just, both, both knees when you're coming down, uh, when you're on the ground, are gonna come up at the same time, but on this, you're just lifting one foot at a time, okay? Down on the ground, <sighs> tabletop position, Toes are tucked under, okay? Everything's pulled up and you're just pressing your knees off the ground and back down. Up and down. Up, pull it up and down. Up, make sure that your hands have equal weight coming into the palm. Fingers are spread out so you don't have a bunch of weight on them. Ant, get rid of the ant. Seven, press. Eight, my six o'clock client this morning was not happy about these. <laughs> Two more, press, and last one, woo! Feel that burn, okay. That's it, guys. That's your workout today. Great to have you all here. You guys are the bomb. Get after this workout two to four sets. I'll be talking to you soon.